Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, we're going to be grabbing the Academy Glintstone Key. Most accurately, this is the first one. The second one is actually within the Academy itself. Um, there will be a video out on the channel later on, probably today, detailing where that is. You have to drop off the roof, so it's quite deep in there. Um, so for now, we're going to grab the key, and then if you're wondering why the video is so long, because we're just showing an item location, we are probably going to try dealing with the dragon whilst we are at it. Nope, you don't have to kill the dragon to actually grab the key. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to summon my wolves out here so I have my distraction ready. I'm going to come in here, grab all of the loot, including the key. Now we can start playing with the dragon. Just bear in mind, he is quite nasty. A little bit stronger than Agahil, for example. Um, but we're just going to basically do the same thing as we would have done with the dragon. You're going to want to come to the side, particularly when it's doing its flames. Uh, obviously, a lot of this dragon's uh, breath attacks are... Uh, what's the word? Magic in nature. Let's just bear that in mind. Let's try and keep away from those stomps. We can jump over the shockwave. Much like before, when it's doing breath attacks, you can just want to come over to the side. One of the uh, downsides to this fight is that because it's so mobile, um, eventually it can get away from your summon ability, which will obviously de-summon the wolves. Not that they're doing much anyway. Oops. This guy here is going to do his flames. Really don't want to get caught in that. <laughs> Was it quick enough? Off the mark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yes. Oh, man. Got caught in the menu there. That's always bad. Let's do some jump attacks. Come on. You must be close to a stun now, sir. Roll over this sh tail. Oh, we're going to get flamed. Yes. Oh, no, we didn't. I keep on failing at the menu. <laughs> I can't believe we're not getting a stun on this. Oh, step forward on me. Excuse me, sir. Stop being rude. Clearly being mounted is better for this. I don't know where the wolves are. It's still summoned somewhere. It's stuck. Let's get out of here. Oh, I couldn't jump. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go for round two. We ain't leaving it there. Uh, the good thing is, it's uh, going to be asleep from the beginning this time. So let's get in here. I'm going to get some nice wax on its head. Hopefully. Put it on its head, I can't reach. But now because it's doing its wake-up bit, we can uh, get some damage in there. Hopefully the wolves can distract a little bit for me again. Come on. That. Excuse me, sir. We want your head. Well, actually, more more accurately, your heart, right? So you want to be going to the side when this one comes out. Make sure you dash just as it's uh, coming towards you. Gonna get flamed here. No, we didn't. Good. Can't jump. Ah, I'm locked into the animation. Give me that sound dab in the back. That wolves are gone. <laughs> Need to get to the side here. Ooh. Let us to a sight of grace. Why, well, thank you, sir. OK, 
Come on. Take that bleed. There we go. It'll do. I'm aware that I can attack on the other side, but it just feels weird on my, uh, my muscle memory to do it. Whoops. I took, the, I took my horse down. That's just not very nice. And that was going to flame me. <laughs> Yes, quick. Lee Mounted is a clear advantage in this in this fight. Oh. There we go. It took me two attempts. I apologize for the messiness. We've got the key. And the dragon is down. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next video.